G'day fishers and welcome back to Fish Sticks Fishing Adventures. As you can see there we're at fishing at Wardley Bay. That's a little bay area there to the west of Wellington Point and I guess you call it southeast of Manly. Let's flick some plastics and see what we get. Even on your worst days fishing there's always a yellowtail pike. There's a striped barracuda or what I call as a leader eater or even shark bait. These guys can put up a nice little fight, but they like chewing your plastics out in the leader. So here I've got a wide trace from Kmart, it's like a 500ml job. A little snap to put on the swivel, so I don't have to worry about cutting and changing knots. And we're going to have this little guy out as a living. As you can probably see there, we're just putting that hook in behind the back of the head there just to uh, give him a bit of freedom to move around and we're just going to cast him out and let him run around for a while and see what we can get After a couple of short runs there, we can see what's happened to the bait. No head, no tail. So the sharks like to do that in their Waterloo Bay. They tend to take the bait, have a bit of a chomp, take some out of it, go for a run and spit it out. So we're going to make sure that hook is in there nice and secure and that barb's hanging out. Now on this particular day we're just drifting, so I tend to like to cast this out. Leave the bail arm open, let it sink, give it some more line and let that bait get down to the bottom. Okay. There's tension there. Not much. Baby shark. Do 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 do. Where are That's the other thing with sharks, uh, once they tend to spit the hook or spit the bait, they often come back, so don't give up. Spat it. Okay. Thank you. 
As you can probably guess, right. wrangling with the shark's a bit of fun. It wouldn't fit in that little baby net I had. So all I like tend to do is pin it to the side of the kite and pick it up. But not today. We roll with plan B. Yeah, you just have to make sure your toes and fingers are always safe. Not a big shark, but it certainly do some damage there. The other big issue with the sharks is getting those hooks out. Once they're in there, they're really in there. And make sure you've got some decent sets of pliers, because ones I had way too small. Ideally we're looking for a healthy release, unfortunately he was out of the water for a while there, so you really need to get some more oxygen back into the system, a bit more air. So the old forward and back method through the water. That seemed to work well, get a bit more oxygen through the system. It's at that point I thought he was okay, so I pushed him off. A couple of uh, pumps here with the tail, but still very lethargic. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little bit better there, but, you know, that's fishing. But not to worry. Here comes the swing back past again, and ready to go out there, keep eating some more pike. As usual guys, I appreciate you watching. Give us a like if you like these videos, even share, and even subscribe. Every couple of weeks I try to get out a new video. But really a big thanks for watching, thank you to those music owners as well, and all the best and tight lines.